your bio. Today's video is going to be quite different. Today I will not talk about science or research. Rather, I will be talking about money, an important aspect of life, which I found most of the researchers have not given much attention. Also, not managing your hard-earned money properly will put an extra stress in your research career and personal life as well. So I request everyone who is into research must watch this video till the end. When you start your research journey, your primary focus should be on the research. You receive money from the project in which you are working or from some funding agencies after qualifying certain exams. This money is called as fellowship and is not taxable in India. For example, the project assistants, the project associates, junior or senior research fellows and research associates. The main purpose of providing the fellowship is to meet your regular day-to-day -day needs. But every researcher must keep in mind that the tenure of projects and fellowships are fixed. It may be from few months up to five years at max. And I have seen instances where researchers do not receive money for several months even during the fellowship tenure. This could be due to several reasons like delay in report submission or document processing, renewal of fellowship term, miscommunication between institutes or universities, non-availability of funds with the funding agencies or any other. Although this depends upon the country, the funding agency, the host institute and the researcher. Researchers must process all the documents and regularly contact the authorities for timely release of grants and fellowships. Also, when your fellowship term is over and you still have some research work pending, for example, for the completion of your PhD degree, you have to carry out research work without any fellowship. Also, when you are in the middle of your research and expecting the extension of the project, which may or may not occur, can also leave you in a dilemma. If applying for a fresh position, it may take anywhere from few months to over a year. In all such situations, when a researcher does not receive fellowship but still have to carry out his research work, the researcher often loses motivation for the research and even becomes depressed. At the same time, researcher still has daily expenses to be met and asking the money from their parents at this stage is not a viable option. I have been through all these phases of research fellowship breaks and therefore recommend every researcher who is in their early career or even the experienced ones should manage their money in a way to meet their daily needs during those tough times when you do not receive fellowships. If you have also faced such situation any time in your research career, do share your experience in the comment section. So what to do? The first and the foremost thing that every researcher must do is to start creating an emergency fund as a backup to meet the regular expenses for at least 6 to 9 months when you do not receive any fellowship. This can be kept in a saving account or as a fixed deposit or if you have a DMAT account you can invest in a liquid fund. Although fellowships are not huge, but still you can save little amount every month. Also make sure you do not use this fund under normal circumstances when you are still receiving the fellowship. This will help you meet your regular needs and at least to some extent reduce the stress associated to fellowship breaks. If you can manage to save some more money, you can try investing in various other asset classes such as mutual funds, stocks, government bonds which would earn you better returns compared to saving accounts or fixed deposits. I suggest every researcher should also develop financial knowledge to manage the money, expenses and plan a suitable investment strategy. Try to find out ways to enjoy with the money you have unless you find the ways to increase your income. It is not at all necessary to spend huge money to enjoy. You can still enjoy shopping, outing, traveling, movies and other fun activities. You just have to plan it according to your budget. Also, overspending without having a backup money or emergency fund can land you in trouble when you are out of fellowship or during career breaks. If you want to learn more about managing funds or about different investment strategies, please write down in the comment section. If you find the video useful, do share it with others. It might help them too. Do check out my videos on research and publishing, plant issue culture, markers, techniques, genomics and others. Thanks and stay connected.